take it, I said fake it till you make it, opportunity take it. Fake it till you make it, opportunity take it, I said fake it till you make it, opportunity take it. Happy Friday, philosophical here in Happy Valley, Pennsylvania with my wonderful teacher, Grandmother Willow Tree here. Uh, it is a beautiful day, and the message is, fake it till you make it, opportunity take it. And what I mean by that is, uh, I've done a lot of things in the past two or three years, which some people say are incredible, and it, it's often hard for me to believe that I was able to accomplish these things. Um, but most of the time, these things that me and my friends have done, we just are faking it. We're faking it till we make it. But the message is that I think there are no such thing as mistakes. There are only takes and non-takes. And so the key is to just jump right in and try these things that some people say are so hard. Like for example, we, we formed our own group called the Cultural Recyclists. And we biked all the way across America exploring sustainability. And most of us who went on the ride had never ridden more than like 40 miles in a day before we left, but we just, we packed up our bikes and we went for it. And many, many people helped us to accomplish it. But, um, but really we were just faking it till we make it and creating our own story. And I think that's the whole, that's the whole key is to create your own story and just uh, kind of reclaim your power as a, as a cultural creator. As one of my favorite uh, inspirations, Terrence McKenna says, we need to create culture. And I have a lot of videos on here about creating culture. Um, but I think ways that we create culture is by setting our own cultural norms and, um, and just creating events, creating anything, art, just being creators and co-creators is so empowering. So I encourage you to fake it till you make it and take every opportunity to create things. Like uh, me and my friends put together the, the peaceful gathering of hands in Peaceburg and it was this huge event, but we were the ones who were just telling this story and by telling the story, it got more and more real until it just became like this huge event. Um, I mean, there's so many examples of, of famous people who, who everyone thought they were crazy, but they believed in themselves and they were like, no, we're gonna create this culture. And I feel like our society has disempowered us a lot to just become kind of consumers and to think that, oh, other people are gonna start this stuff. But no, it's you and me who are gonna start these projects and these events and these things, and we can do it. It's so easy. We just gotta fake it till we make it. Um, I've just been jogging around, so I have a lot of phlegm. Feels good to spit it out a little bit. Um, but um, but yeah, one more inspiring thing related to this is that back in the like 16th century when the revolution was happening in Europe, the reason why it got <clears throat> to be successful was because the printing press was invented and people could pass information and create pamphlets and spread ideas extremely fast. And now that is happening through the internet through you and me sharing YouTube videos and sharing links on Facebook and all these things. The internet is the new printing press and we need to reclaim our power by using it to create culture and to empower ourselves to just create the world that we want to live in. So fake it till you make it. Do whatever you've been wanting to do. Today is the day to start that project because we can do it, we are doing it. You are awesome, life is awesome, this tree is awesome. 
scoobily do please check out the links below thank you very much peace